So today we're going to be talking about what happens when a valuation changes. So you've just had a valuation done for the building um, and the valuation comes in at a lower amount. Let's use an example. So you are insured for 40 million rand and a valuation comes in at 35 million rand. What do you do? Do you automatically reduce the sum insured for the body corporate or do you have a problem? Okay, so when a valuation is lower, it depends on the building and the dynamics of the scheme, quite honestly. The golden rule, or call it the default rule, would be that at the last AGM, the sum insured of, say, 40 million with a schedule of replacement value would have been approved by all the owners. And you have to be careful because the owners at that AGM approved it and certain owners and their banks might be relying on those figures. In other words, if you reduce the figure, they may need to increase the figure effectively. Okay, so given that the figures may have been overinsured, there may be people relying on it and those figures were approved. So how do you deal with it? You've now got 35 million and commensurately, let's just say that you can save premium. You can't always save premium, but in many cases, and certainly most cases, you can save a bit of premium if you lower the sum insured with the insurer. Now, what we generally do is the following, and I'm just using some general ideas. So if it's a little bit, in other words, it's less than, say, 3%, maybe 2 or 2.5% two difference, in some insured then we think you know it's not a big deal um you can either leave it as it is until the agm or in some cases reduce it just tell the owners that you're doing that because it's a small difference and there's a bit of premium saving and so why shouldn't you get the premium saving why do i say two and a half or three percent difference okay to reduce the sum insured because it's unlikely that you're going to actually cause an average problem or a substantial difference in an owner's sum insured for such a small change. But let's say it's a, as much as 10 or even 15% sum insured, and it's going to make a substantial difference. Then I would perhaps wait until the AGM, especially if the AGM is around the corner. Maybe the AGM is as close as next month or the month thereafter. I would certainly wait for the AGM to reduce the figures. If a small body corporate is involved, let's say anything up to 10 or 12 units, then it's another slight different deviation from the norm. Because what I would do there is I would write to every owner an email and say, look, here is a proposed reduced sum insured. This is what the new schedule draft would look like which we will ratify at the next AGM, are there any owners uh, that would disagree with this reduction and or can we have every owner to approve the reduction? And if you can get all 10 or 12 owners to approve the reduction, then of course, why not? Then reduce it because you do have everybody's consent. And I would make sure that you've got everybody's consent to do that um, because as I said, 10 or 15%, somebody could be relying on that. Okay, so there we go. That's my thoughts on the matter. Um, basically, if uh, you have a valuation done and the sum insured comes in substantially lower, then definitely I would uh, either take it to an AGM before reducing or get all the owner's consent. If it's a small change downwards, 2 or 3%, then I would do it by notifying all the owners. Okay, and um, obviously if it's an increase in some insured, then you must increase it as soon as possible because otherwise you're going to be underinsured and that's a far higher risk. So certainly increase the sum insured if the sum insured comes in at a higher sum because the act covers you there and says that you need to insure to full replacement value at all times. 
Okay, so that's just a short little snippet on valuation. And uh, yes, just remember the three things, like, please share, and certainly subscribe to our uh, YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Thank you.